Hi guys, uh, welcome back to the show. Uh, it's Tuesday today, so we're gonna do we're doing a Tuesday strategy. This is black to play, and I'm gonna start the the timer right now. So we should should try to solve this position and find black's best move. All right. I'm going to set this up on the board, the position on, on my own chessboard. So, it should feel like it's, um, it's a real chess game in a chess competition. Let's go. Let's do this position. Black to play. White has this strong central pawns on e4 and d4. It's hard for black to castle on the king side too, because once black castles there, then white's attack follows through with h5, and it's gonna open the h file, and black might get checkmated. So not a good not a good idea. I mean, this this is looking good for <coughs> for white. Just wondering, pawn on d4 is free, or is it? Is it maybe it's not free. Can black take that one? Take d4 and bishop e3. Am I missing something obvious here? Queen after queen takes d4, queen takes pawn.
That's true. Even after Queen, ah. Uh, oh, that's interesting. So after Queen takes here, then let's say White pushes the um, D pawn. It's not even attacking anything because the the rook is being defended by the knight. Black has this Queen takes F two and sacrifice. Temporarily, queen sacrifice followed by queen takes queen, then knight attacks the king and the queen at the same time. So that's interesting. I can maybe black can take the um, d4 pawn. Very risky to take that D for pawn, but I'm not sure what what else can Black do. Black cannot castle on the king side; it's too dangerous. Maybe he can castle on the queen side, but it's already open. Yeah, yeah, okay, I get it. So after bishop, queen takes d4. I think it's a good idea because of this, bishop e3. And if queen retreats here, because of all other places, all other squares, uh, if the queen moves to other squares, then we're gonna get captured. So bis bishop there, Queen retreats to one square to the uh, back diagonal, then followed by bishop here attacking the queen on on the central square. Now what? Yeah, black is in trouble. So queen takes pawn is not it's not a good idea. 
not a good idea for black and for example queen takes here then knight check on the third rank then king moves here and queen takes here bishop there knight check on the third rank king moves up and now the knight on on uh, this third rank on the square is under attack with the rook and the king hmm what what is black supposed to do here maybe knight to maybe i can move my knight my other knight beside i can move my knight beside the other knight so the idea of bishop takes if bishop takes knight then pawn captures back now I have an outpost on the on the square, closer to the white king. Mm, that's interesting. But what what can white do regarding that? What is white going to do? Uh, white doesn't even have to take if my if I may if I move my knight here. He doesn't have to take the knight on the fourth rank. Instead, white can kick out my other knight. Then I have to go back. I have to retreat the, my other knight. This is a tough position to play of black. I think I can play a5 here. A5 with the idea of a4 and if a3 then push my a pawn. Here the idea is if my opponent tries to kick my uh, the my knight then I can go and continue with my attack with by pushing the a pawn 
Yeah, I, I think that's a good idea. Yeah, we need to be able to counterattack here because White's position and White has more space. I cannot go, I cannot castle on the king side. I mean, I cannot even castle here on the queen side because otherwise, queen is gonna get this pawn. The white queen is gonna get the uh, pawn. So. Yeah. Maybe this one is the best move for black. Creating a counter attack on the queen side. That's interesting. After a5, then let's say white pushes um, his a2, then keep on going, then bishop retreats, then knight takes. If bishop retreats, then king takes, then queen takes. And for example, bishop here attacking my queen on b4, I think I can go here. Because here, right here, I cannot take this one and cannot go there because the bishop his bishop is going to capture my queen but if for example bishop goes there then now his bishop is not controlling the c4 this uh, square anymore and i can put my queen maybe maybe it's possible maybe that's that is uh, black's best choice is to start a counter attack on on the um, on the queen side instead of thinking of where to castle Okay, so this for me, my move is a5 followed by a4. I feel like I need to counter attack. I need to do any um, to do a counter attack against white. So we'll see. So yeah. All right, let's go. Okay. Okay. All right. Quote, imbalances in reassess your chess. Jeremy Sulman writes that it is useful to talk about imbalances instead of advantages. 
this well shown <clears throat> this is well shown in one of the examples of the previous chapter page 61 where white space would be advantageous with the minor pieces on the board but was disadvantageous without them taking that into account it is better to talk about more space than a space advantage there are nine possible imbalances in chess with all self-explanatory labels king safety material de material development central control initiative space piece placement control over key squares and pawn structure most often both white and black have an advantage in one or more or of those nine categories both players want to make their advantageous imbalance the most important feature in the position if the pawn structure is better it is logical to strive for an endgame but with central control it is better to keep as many pieces as possible the fight between imbalances is well illustrated in the following game the players are married what they're married and since their children came to watch early on i expected a quick draw instead they created a very interesting game wow look at that like couple uh playing in a the same tournament <laughs> that's that's interesting okay let's see wow all right here we go this is a queen's pawn opening okay uh, monica soko is an aggressive player she started um expanding on on the king side pushing its her pawns uh, as quickly as she can okay here we go this is the critical position black to move quote let us compare white and black's positions considering the nine imbalances the pawns are equal since black cannot play yeah black cannot play here because of here is it yes this is what i thought then here yes then here this rook is doomed this queen is doomed okay winning the rook instead i would say that White has smaller material advantage with a pair of bishops. White also has space. So this is the position. White has space. Control over the center and slightly better development. The pawn structure is unbalanced with many possible targets. H4 is a target, it's a backward pawn. Because hmm, white can push it, right? <clears throat> and also D4, D4 to D5. Those are white thread. It is difficult to say who's, who has the better piece placement. Neither side has the control over important key squares. It sounds good for white so so far, but there are still two imbalances left. King safety. Black's king is kind of in a dangerous position. It's stuck in the middle. And initiative. The position of both kings are both shaky. The player who gets the initiative will probably have the safer king because the opponent will need to use his or her pieces for defensive purposes black needs to base his play on one or both of those imbalances king safety or the initiative he should avoid an end game for 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 white he should avoid an end game or wait so uh, do this um, bartos is white here he should avoid an end game where the bishop pair might be strong yes that's correct we're playing as as black here we want to avoid end game because of the pair of bishops but if our king is in really in big trouble then we have to figure out how to get rid of the queens off the board therefore he should Im act immediately while white's rook still has to defend h4 here maybe rook h5 is a good idea it's a blockade okay so black black did play a5 yes yes got the correct one the idea is to the idea is to play a5 a4 to, to a3 to weaken white's king yes then okay this is the um, shoot we missed this one h5 then black played a4 pawn takes pawn no, no this uh, this um there's a um discovered attack and rook f8 protecting this pawn and avoiding changes quote why does not have time to take on f7 bishop to here because if takes here i think here now attacking the queen and attacking this bishop 
And for example, if rook check, then bishop covers. I'm still attacking the queen and the bishop. Just double attack. Bishop retreats. And if queen... I think queen is... Okay. Takes. And let's say queen here. Queen goes there and then push the a pawn code black is a dangerous attack and code okay so in the game uh, monica Sarko played queen a3 okay can i just play knight c4 here and i jump there to attack the queen queen here all right so now queen takes pawn Pressuring that f2 pawn. Code black has one pawn in the center, but more are coming. Then white played protect the pawn and f2. Then, oh, this is nice. Knight takes pawn. The idea is if knight takes um, knight, then queen takes pawn. is checkmate. King here. Oh, this is... This is an interesting position. Can I just can I take a very cute triangle? Hello, what to do with opposite castle? Yeah, what to do with opposite castle? You're right. But black does has not castled yet though, because it doesn't have a good um, square to castle like a both king side and queen side are terrible places for for black so so he was black was forced to do something counterattack. otherwise he might just lose but looks like black is succeeding in his attack on the queen side so okay knight takes here just check bishop takes knight Queen takes pawn. Okay, can white avoid the queen trade? What if queen, for example, here? Uh, what to look for exactly with opposite castle games? Should I defend? Should I attack? Uh, it depends on the position. Um, <clears throat> but usually, if you want to attack your opponent, you want to, to you you want to have um, like opposite castle. You want to castle on the queen side. Um, only if you want to attack. But if you want to like keep it safe, then you want you you want to like wait for your opponent to okay. Where are you gonna castle? Are you gonna castle king side? Then I castle king side. Like that, you, you you want to castle on the same side, to to avoid. But usually, when you play like for example Sicilian, and you're playing as white, you castle on the queen side. Your opponent castles on the king side, then you start bombarding them with pawns. That's the reason why you usually people um, castle on on different sides because you want to attack. Do you get it? Did I answer the question? Yeah. All right. So. Queen here. Yes. All right. Cool. Carry on. Yeah. How come I didn't play? Oh snap! Shoot. Yeah. Come on, man. Just like a. Yeah. Just on a double check. Yeah. This is embarrassing. Need to do more chess puzzles. <clears throat> I guess after that, boom, boom, attacking that, and. Black is just a piece up. That's why he didn't play uh, queen g4. He did play queen d3. No, no. He didn't play queen d3. Instead, he took the queen. What happens after here? Can I play rook here? Attack the queen? Is that the best move? Hmm. Maybe that's the best move. Am I correct? Oh, it doesn't say here. 
just turn on the uh, stockfish. Okay, rook d8 minus 2.5. Okay, very good. Very good position for, for black. So, anyway, queen takes here. This is what uh, Monica Soko played. Queen takes queen, rook takes there, bishop takes pawn. Knight check. Why? Would you rather have white or black in this position? I think a black one because I am up by two pawns. This is pretty scary, huh? Because why does this annoying check that the x-ray that we try or skewer but we try to avoid? Maybe that's the reason why. Oh, snap. Maybe that's the reason why. Because after rook takes here, rook takes here, I think black has, oh, okay. King goes there, takes, then takes there. Is that, yeah, okay, that's, that's what happened. That's why. That's why white took the knight. I'm just wondering, okay, why not just move the king, huh? Oh, it's not a good idea. Because that's, um, after bishop takes pawn, then that's, there's an indirect attack against the king. Yeah. Rook. So what happens now? Rook check, then king who? But rook check again, you're right. And takes here. Do I have anything else? Does that lead to anything? We'll see. I mean, white's king is still in a dangerous position. You have um, knight, um, when whenever you move the knight, then there's a discovered attack. And, and that's, that is uncom uncomfortable. Okay, I'll just take it. Then now what? What are you gonna do? Right? Threatening. Um, Black has threat. He can capture this pawn. This discovered attack. Or he can also go here. And go there, knight e3. Or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, black, black has some compensation here. Not sure. Rook d8. Oh, rook d8, then bishop here, right? Yeah, okay. It's alright. Yeah. yeah even, even I'm thinking like knight here, followed by bishop there. Because black's dark squared bishop is, is dominating if you compare our bishop the dark squared bishop to white's bishop uh, this bishop is like hitting his own soldier it's its own pawn whereas my bishop is controlling good diagonals it can easily it can go there it's controlling this one it's annoying the white king also i can i mean i can move my knight back then maneuver my knight here on this diagonal and suddenly attacking that um lone pawn on on that square so yeah i think okay let me just check after this one let me turn on the computer quickly okay minus 3.1 minus 3.1 and white's move is e5 it's, it's mo most likely that black is threatening to play i think bishop bishop here to maneuver its um its bishop to that diagonal okay good minus 2.9 all right so in the game, what happened in the game? So wife, the wives, Monica Soko, I mean, they're married here. They just had a child, but instead of drawing, they uh, slug it out. Rook takes d2, rook takes d2, rook here. King move there, rook takes rook, king takes bishop, rook here. Says here, coat with two healthy pawns, black must be winning. Y yeah, okay, should be. C6, okay, pin. Pinning the bishop, then king defend the, defend the uh, bishop. Okay, what now? If you defend, then maybe why does this annoying move? Yeah, I think I think white is uh, black is still winning, even with this sacrifice thing. 
defending this pawn before taking the pawn on e5 with the rook. <coughs> so, but rook here attacking the uh, pawn, the lone pawn on the king side. Okay, then push pawn. No, no, cannot push that pawn. If I push it, then rook takes pawn. And push the pawn. Okay, now time to race, right? Pawn race. Then here, e5. I'm having a tournament in 24 hours. All right, very good. What is your best tip? What kind of tournament is that? Is that an online? Uh, or uh, or um, in over the board? Real life classical, 24 hours, 60 plus three. Cool. Yeah, 60 plus five. Okay, that's, that's a good one. Um, my advice is not to play chess. I think you should just relax. <clears throat> my I, I read this book. Uh, 100 best games by former chess world champion the Russian Mikhail Bodvinik. If he has a tournament, like a big tournament, like a world championship, he doesn't play chess for five days. Five days. Because the reason is you want to be um, refreshed. You don't want to burn out your, you know, your brain. And also, if you haven't played chess for a while, it's more likely that you're excited to be playing in, in a real chess board. But my, I advise my students, okay, don't Try not to play uh, chess or even look at chess 24 hours, at least a day. Ch try to relax. Do something that relaxes you instead of um, cramming, like in a test, you know, looking at your openings and solving chess puzzles. I think it's not good. You might get burned out. And it happened to me several times. So my advice to you is just relax. Uh, do something else that you enjoy aside from uh, preparing in a real life chess competition. Yeah. Yeah, happened to me. I, yep, you're right. Okay, here we go. King here. Okay, I'm gonna capture that pawn. What is going on in here? Do I should I push? Then push. I don't want to give up my. If I'm black here, I don't want to give up my. Uh, oh no no, my 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 pawn. <coughs> Bishop to b4. Bishop to b4. It might be true. Then, okay, yeah, it, it, it is possible. After a bishop there. But here, rook to here. Okay, so the idea is okay, this rook is not in a good square because you want to be able to push your pawn, but you don't want to push your pass pawn because that's your pass pawn you want to protect it and turn in the queen so move the rook maybe king can go get closer um, to the pawn and start pushing the uh, outside pass pawn okay so just give up that pawn because look if bishop takes for example here i think it's a bad idea to take here because now this bishop can't move otherwise the rook is going to take the other rook it's pinned so and e even if rook takes here, I think the, this is horrible. This is just uh, uh, winning here. Oh, takes here. Because black has to worry about this pawn now. Oh, I turn on um, the engine, and after here it says here G4 is the best move. Yeah, okay. So it's not A4 is the best move. I'm just wondering. Takes, takes, then here. Can I just go here? So now we have this box inside the box. You have to count one, two, three. One, two, three. So this is the box that. That the king has to be. The white king has to be inside. In order to to chase the G pawn, but after G four, yeah, yeah, because now King can stop at least this one. Let's say King can stop that, and the Bishop can blockade the uh, G pawn. 
So mm-hmm. I'm going to turn on the engine. It's minus 0.3. So it's, I think it's just, this is going to be a draw. So the critical position in this exchange is, is after bishop takes here, it's just push the pawn. Push the pawn as fast as you can. Then harass. Harass the bishop. Okay, let's say bishop goes here. Then just harass. Try it. Uh, or just go there. Try to get the... Um, I'm going to try to queen, get the bishop for the pawn, and um, black is winning. Oh, interesting endgame. Interesting endgame. But, okay, but in the game, what happened? Rook there. Defend. Okay. What now? Rook, okay. Trying to take that pawn. Defend. Oh, hey, this is what you... um. This is the position that uh, you um, advise. Very cute triangle. So bishop b4, you're correct. Okay, now what are we trying to do? Oh, maneuver. So the bishop before was here on e7. And bishop went there. Then boom. Now it's there. On the central ice. Okay. I'm going to go there. Get the king closer to the pawn. So there's kind of hard for white to prevent black from getting closer to his pass pawn and pushing the g-pawn. That's why maybe white just gave up. Okay, just attack that pawn. Oh, okay, so now this is the king and the two pawns versus um, um, a uh, bishop, a light squared bishop. Okay, so code after 16 moves, white had a lot of advantages, but it did not help when manage, when black managed to get his initiative going. Shortly thereafter, white's king became weak. The most important imbalance. Oh, that's interesting. The most important imbalance in, in our starting position in this one, the king. Okay, so I hope you guys learned from that. And if you haven't, uh, Grandmaster Axel Smith, the author of this book, was referring to Jeremy Silman's um, How to Assess Your Chess. And it's a, it's a good book. I really like that one, especially when I was um, uh, still starting chess. It's a good uh, book to be able to, so you can understand like you know what's going on in, 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 uh, in a chess game instead of like calculating and calculating and uh, calculating. It's hard. Chess is a complex game, but once you understand it, you're going to appreciate it better. All right, so guys, don't forget to subscribe to my Twitch channel, YouTube channel, and Facebook, and share this to your, to your friends. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.